Well, a DPS trooper is in the hospital after a violent and deadly high speed crash in Chambers County this morning. Sky 2 was there at the scene observing the damage. The sheriff's office says a deputy and a DPS trooper were attempting to stop a driver of a van who appeared to be drunk on I-10 near Highway 61. That trooper was airlifted to Memorial Hermann Texas Medical Center. That is where we find KPRC 2's Joel Eisenbaum. Joel, we're learning more about that trooper tonight. Keith, I'll tell you what, when that 34-year-old state trooper who'd been on the job for six years was airlifted here to Memor uh, Memorial Hermann in the med center, I mean, a lot of people were on edge. It didn't look good. This afternoon, though, he is said to have non-life-threatening injuries. He is resting. He is talking to friends and family. And one of his colleagues calls what he experienced a miracle. He is a trooper and a father, and man, is he lucky or maybe it's more than luck. It truly is a miracle. That miracle saved 34-year-old DPS state trooper Travis Rocks. He was the second trooper on this scene, and that is his mangled Chevy Tahoe in this video. And this smallest of gaps is how and where that trooper survived the violent accident. A van smashing into the whole scene. That's where the trooper ended up in that gap. Almost kind of make like in a pyramid and the troop was, was uh, on the bottom of that. Rocks was airlifted, but incredibly has non-life threatening injuries. The driver of the van who hit him unfortunately died. And all of it started with a drunk driver who had stopped cold in the main lanes this morning of I-10 in Chambers County. It was about 6.30 a.m. Trooper Rocks was helping his colleagues secure that scene. That drunk driver is now in jail. And that lucky trooper will live to tell the story. There is a more unfortunate part of this story, and that is the driver of the van that hit the trooper did die at the scene, unfortunately. But that original drunk driver, understand, is right now being charged at the Chambers County Jail. We are live in the Med Center this afternoon. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. All right.